Once you enter into Transcript Downloader, you'll see a list of previous channels you may have looked up before. You can load a new channel here. Sometimes it can take a little bit of time, especially if there's a lot of content. This will compile it into an easy to navigate database. You can see the title, the ID. You're able to actually visit the source file, the source location. Publish date, this is when it was actually published to the platform, duration. The first thing you do is you transcribe it and format it. So that's going to consume credits. Our system operates on credits, okay? After you've done that, you can download the file. The file is going to download into JSON format, okay? So there's gonna be different variables and you will see the content there for you. And you're able to go into the settings here and you can change what you would like to be downloaded into the JSON file. So you can include whatever you like or disclude what you do not want. Going back here to the channel that we just looked at, um, we operate on a credit basis. So you go to your, your billing and you can add credits to your account. And the more credits you add, the more you're gonna save because we have bulk pricing. We also have an auto replenish feature. So while you are consuming credits and using the system, it will automatically replenish them so you don't have to do it manually if you don't want. You'll see the billing down here. There's a billing history section. As you're using the platform, there is a usage page here where you can see how much you've used, how many credits you spent between certain dates, how much usage you've actually consumed. In the channel itself, you're also able to add a webhook URL. And what's going to happen is once every hour, it's going to check and see if there's any new content on that channel. And then it's going to automatically send that information to the webhook for ingestion. Okay. You're able to check the log history. It will tell you if it was successful or not, the date that it occurred. You can add multiple webhooks. You can deactivate them or activate them or delete them. It's up to you. So it's going to automatically transcribe and format and then send it to that webhook. Now in the settings here, there is also a section where it shows you all the webhooks across the entire platform. So you can add or delete here for convenience. You're also able to bulk transcribe and format, okay, across multiple of the channel's contents. And you can also mass download to a zip file for convenience. On the main channel overview here, you're also able to remove them if you like.